So that's Smash Mouth, uh, Waste. I played that on a BRB a while ago, and um, that was legit one of my favorite songs in the late 90s. I, I just really like the vibe of that song a lot. And um, I think Astro Lounge, from what I remember, I haven't heard it in full in a while. It's actually a really good album. The problem is Smash Mouth became like a meme. And uh, I'm not crazy about some of their songs for sure. But there's some stuff there that's actually pretty good. And that one in particular is just, I mean, it's stuck with me. It's just perfect. I think it's just like one of those perfect songs. And listening to it now, there's a lot of honesty in there and maybe a lot of pain that I'd never picked up on. It's always easy to say that in retrospect. Um, you know, when, when someone dies. So, yeah, guy died, and alcoholism is a motherfucker. It's been in my family, so I can understand how serious it is. Um, and also, you know, he he lost, just to get real for a second, from what I've read, I didn't know this, but he lost his son in the early 2000s, and I don't think he, he has gotten out of a bottle since then. Now, people are bringing up shitty things that happen in his life. Um, Steve from Smash Mouth, I'm talking about. And I've seen it. People actually dragging him through the mud. And even, you know, Rev had some issues with some Smash Mouth stuff. Who knows who's posting for them on social media? But even Rev was like, fuck, I didn't want that to happen. You know, what a shame. It is a shame. And clearly the dude wasn't in his right mind. He was not living a happy life. And he could not get out of alcoholism and it is a really fucked up thing for a family to have to go through friends you know it's not just you that suffers through that it's it's everyone around you um and you know it's not fun so really i would just say clearly smash mouth has had a lot of meme potential and status over the years like they're kind of legendary and they were made fun of. But I do want to play a song. Like, that's why I played that song. I wanted to show you, like, no, there's some really, like, actual music that isn't just, like, a pop song for a Shrek movie that is, you know, heartfelt. And um, so people have a lot of different sides to them. You never know what people are going through. And uh, rest in peace, Steve. I hope maybe you find some peace. And, you know, I would just say maybe understand that the dude was not in a good place for the past 20 years and to you know look at the good and not as much the bad hopefully but that's you know easy it's easy to say hard to do and um check out astro lounge and the first album is really good too it's a little different but it's really good so yeah even if you don't like smash mouth you have to admit they were I mean, his voice was very distinct, and the band, they, they're cemented as like kind of like pop legends. So, yeah. anyway, thanks for listening to whatever this was. I just wanted to uh, talk about that for a minute and play that song. And uh, let's play a video game. All right. I'm just getting the switch set up. Hang on. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> 